Hey guys, another tutorial for you now. This is going to be on how to iron your trousers. Um, I personally don't wear these, but I know that some squadrons, the girls there wear trousers as well. So this will be useful for everyone, I hope. So again, I'm just borrowing these. Right. Lovely man's trousers. Okay. Um, with this, you'd wear it with one of these belts. This one's quite worn, but um, some places you need to buy these yourself. You don't get given them with your uniform. Uh, but you can just get these from Cadet Direct or wherever. Also, if the front's a bit scratched like this one is, I don't know if you can tell it, you can just put a bit of brasso on there. Something like that. Okay. Right, first thing you need to do is lay the trousers out flat. You're trying to get this crease, which goes along the front of the trousers. You're going to try and make that really, really sharp. So just lay it all flat on the iron board. It should be going up to where the little ready-made crease is at the top. So your trousers will come with this little, I don't know what to call it, but this little bit at the top, and that's where the crease should be coming out of. You can see there. So that's where the front of the crease should be. Okay, so just lie it flat. A lot of people as well say that you should get a tea towel, uh, a damp tea towel, and put it on top and then press the iron over it. I think the thing about that is that it'll stop it from going shiny, say if you just use the iron on the fabric. But I've never had any problem with the iron. Never had any problem with just using the iron on top like this. Of course, if it does, uh, if it does go shiny, uh, just pop it in the wash. The shine will come out. It's the same with skirts. So if your skirt goes shiny because you've been ironing it, uh, just put it in the wash. So like this, you're just smoothing the iron along that crease to make it really, really defined and sharp, all the way up the front to where that crease. And then, and you, from there, once you've got the crease in the right place, you're going to smooth out the rest of the leg. And again, you do the crease on the other side. So at the back of the trouser leg, you should have a crease going all the way at the back. Okay, and to do that one, just turn it over, flatten out that crease you've just made. It's just a little bit harder because now the bit that it comes out of is on the back but you need to make sure it's still going all the way up the trouser leg. That'll just make the crease you've just made really sharp. And then for the back one, just turn it round and you should be getting where the crease is. Like that, and then you're just doing the same thing really. You're just laying it flat. Make sure it's going all the way up the trouser leg because so many people have it and it just stops. It's like, uh, you still don't have a crease there, so you need to have the crease going all the way up. Lay it out nice and flat. And you're getting this as far up the trouser leg as possible. So, running this up the back, keeping it nice and straight. Down the back. You should end up with, if you lift it up, this crease here. Okay, so that's the one on the back, going all the way up the side of the trouser. And then the same one on the front. And just going over it front and back will make it really, really sharp. Last thing you should do with your trousers is have a trouser hanger, skirt hanger like that. And you just clip this to the bottom of the trouser legs. And that'll just make sure it'll stay nice and straight. Hope that helped.